bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I speak in Guapanese, I know he can't out on so in case you do live under a rock where you just have not heard the news, Apple and Epic Games are in a huge lawsuit regarding how the App Store works and whether or not Epic Games should be allowed to bypass Apple's 30% TOS policy. And because of that, starting next season, players on iOS will not be able to update into season four of chapter two, meaning they're gonna be stuck in the previous season. And what that means for Nintendo Switch players, it can mean one of a couple of things. Best case scenario, if all of the Apple players cannot play, by the way, these are the guys that all have like 120 FPS and 60 FPS and all those good things. If they cannot play in the new season, that means there is a decent chance that we could actually end up with Nintendo Switch only cash cups. That would be really, really exciting for Switch players. More than likely though, what I think what will happen is we will have Nintendo Switch and Android cash cups. Now that's not bad at all, all right? A lot of these guys that are on iOS, on the iPad, on the 120 FPS have already begun to switch platforms. They're starting to play on console. They're starting to play on PC because they feel like there's no way that they can A, go back to 60 FPS, B, even if they wanted to try and go onto an Android device, they just don't have the money to go buy a new device. So they're just gonna go ahead and switch platforms or C, just quit the game altogether. And a huge rest in peace to anyone that does play on the iPad. I do believe that this problem will be solved you know, and maybe in a couple of months, you know, they're, they're, they're ready to fight for the next couple of years is what Epic Games says, but I think it'll be solved in the next couple of months. Regardless though, this is a really good chance for the Nintendo Switch community. You know, back when um, Apple's update didn't go through, I think it was like six or seven months ago, and the players in EU didn't have to deal with iOS players. The top three in that solo cash cup that week, Saitapa, Poza one, and uh, Brian Blanky, bro. <laughs> Saitapa, Poza one, and Numbers. Those guys ended up finishing top three, all Switch players in that cash cup, which is absolutely insane. So even if, they, if we are playing up against Android, I hope so, to be honest with you, because Switch only cash cups, as great as that sounds theoretically, I don't believe there's enough Switch players to actually be able to play out fully 10 games. Um, if you remember, uh, even with these solo cash cups with iOS, with Android, a lot of the times towards the end of the tournament, you'll start getting into queues that are like five minutes, six minutes long, you'll be able to get all of your games in. So if it's literally Switch only, I just have a feeling that iOS like takes up about 60% of the community. If it's Switch only, I don't think we're gonna be able to have those tournaments. Now, with all that being said, there still is a worst case scenario. If iOS isn't an option for um, these tournaments, then Epic might just pair everything together. They might just have like PC cash cups and console mobile cash cups. Um, and that's not the worst thing. Uh, it's worst case scenario, it is pretty bad. I'll be honest with you, because the thing is, all the console players are very smart in this game. They know how to stay alive, they know how to scrim. So yeah, console players have 60 FPS, but the issue is when we get into these solo scrims and all of the end games are 40, 50 plus man end games, then there goes our FPS anyways, and it's GG's and we're back to square one. But I just have a really good feeling the next season we're gonna have our own cups. Even if it is only for one season, you know, Apple ends up coming back and they come around the season afterwards. I just think that we're gonna be able to have our own cash cups. And the crazy thing is next generation consoles are on the way. So we actually don't know how Epic plans on moving forward with that. If you have next gen consoles that are 120 FPS, are they gonna start placing lobbies based on the frames? You know, are you gonna have 120 FPS against 60 FPS console? Are you just gonna pair it all together and have console and mobile since they all have 120 FPS and 60? No one knows how they're gonna split it. I'm just really hoping we don't get left in the dust. I would be real, I'd, I'd be okay with, I could, I could see them doing something like, you know, PC only, right? Console mobile. Or like maybe 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 ah, I don't know, dude. It could be console. It's just it's just tough to say. They can literally go about it any single way. But if for some reason we end up having our own cash cups against Android players, I think that would be really really huge for the competitive Switch community. I know a majority of people that play on Switch that are still playing on it are mainly creative warriors and they don't really play comp like that. But for my comp guys out there, trust me, I fully feel you. And I hope that with these changes, we might be able to get our own cash cups. And if mobile comes back and everything is split nicely because of the next generation consoles, then it can be a huge win for the Nintendo Switch community overall. Really hoping for that. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Just wanted to update you on how we could potentially be getting our own cash cups next season. Hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you guys are staying safe. I know school is around the corner. So best of luck to you guys in this school year. Make sure you go ahead and plan yourselves uh, really well. Don't play too many video games. Get your grades up so your parents don't take your devices away so you can compete in these tournaments. But either way, guys, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one.